Hey guys, welcome to another video related to the Samsung Galaxy J7 and here I am with another review of a Nokia ROM called as a Revolution OS and you may be wondering what is this always on display? No, this is ambient display from the stock Android. So I will tell you everything about all the features the ROM control in this video. So let's start without wasting more time. So guys, in the Hyperion ROM, we were getting the A3 2016 Nougat, which was exactly like the S7 Edge Nougat update. But uh, in this uh, ROM, we are getting the Samsung Experience version 8.1 with Android Nougat 7.0 with uh, the Hyperion ROM kernel only. So let's go uh, to the home screen and we can see we get the S8 launcher. These are all of the apps. We don't get Telegram, Inbox and all this stuff, but till here we get all these apps. So that's no extra bloatware, we only have the, it is pre-rooted. You can choose whether to pre-root it with the Super SEO or the Magisk Manager. But uh, if you choose Magisk Manager, you need to flash the Magisk file again in order to get it. I don't know why. And here are all of these apps working really. Let's directly move first to the ROM control. Here we see the ambient display which I showed you uh, before only. This is the ambient display, you can turn it on off according to your choice. We have all of these uh, awesome features, I will zoom, and I will bring up the phone. These are all of the features we are getting, uh, you can uh, change every and each part of your ROM and you can control it in a very awesome way. Also get the battery bar, custom logo UI, but custom logo uh, is something different when I choose something uh, it comes different but uh, this time I have not uh, been uh, testing it I will choose Java okay it requires system UI reboot and let's see okay this time it's working we are getting the Java symbol you can see uh, which we have been knowing the Java symbol Okay, coming back to the home screen, no uh, such stuff is added here. Let's go first again to the ROM control because I lost. Uh, and here we have more settings uh, which you can tweak out, lock screen rotation, color owner information, custom carrier label, yeah, like this uh, revolution written. Uh, and also there is one more thing, uh, something written down below. Uh, and to disable that, you just need to go to the ROM control and uh, here is something uh, and uh, you you have to just disable that something about doc uh, okay the doc text i think in the custom carrier no so it's something uh, in here you just need to disable the doc text in order to uh, remove or you can just edit that and you also have this uh, touch with uh, i think it works like exposed and we have many more settings like the blur settings, color, animations, rotation, gestures, custom text. Okay, this is the custom text in doc. And when you enable it, you have uh, this thing uh, at first. Then go here, just disable it if you find it annoying. And or you can also change it uh, at your flaw. Now let's move to uh, the RAM performance. And let's go to device maintenance. I'm having cold, so my voice is coming like this. Sorry for that. Uh, I will try to be uh, well very early. And let's clear the RAM. Overall, this ROM is really fast and quick. All the animations are decreased and 444 MB only, but still good. Uh, uh, about the performance it is really good only the app opening time is a little bit slow also I just wanted to talk about the battery life of this ROM battery life is not that good on the Hyperion I was getting really good battery life but uh, here some flaws are there in battery I guess some tweaking or uh, the battery has gone really uh, decreasing tonight the standby was also not good and see the device idle for uh, 11 hours only I have not uh, used it that uh, really much like only 10 to 20 minutes still it has gone uh, down so uh, this was the video on the uh, revolution OS 4.5 for the Galaxy J7 2015 another uh, Android 7.0 no good ROM and if you really enjoyed this press the like button if you not press the uh, dislike button 
And now let's move to the installation of this ROM. Now to install this ROM, you need to boot into TWRP recovery directly or by pressing this all of the buttons when your phone power is off. So I will go directly from here into the recovery. Into the recovery, I will just go to wipe. Add one swipe, that will be cage data system. Now let's swipe to wipe. No need to uh, wipe anything else. Let's go back install and into the uh, internal storage we have this uh, revolution os we don't need to flash anything extra if anything mods and all is present i will uh, just put the uh, download links down below in the description now just put next next uh, here is a choice rom light edition full edition i will choose full edition and here are boot logos at your choice i will choose the asset boot logo okay revolution is yours uh, 280 dpi looks good to me uh, in selected apps what you need to remove so everything what is ticket will be installed so you need to uh, select according to your choice next camera now we can easily see that a37 camera front camera features doesn't work so but still if you want the new latest asset camera just go install this super seo magisk i will choose super seo edge panel and hd adaptable i don't know if this feature is working but still i will only go to edge panel and then go and now you know what will happen next it will reboot or you just need to press the reboot button and it will reboot and you will enjoy this beautiful rom so really uh, press the thanks button to the xda threaders also so that developer will be appreciated and goodbye guys i will see you in the next one bye